Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo. We are back in our uh, uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous campaign. Last time we were only doing one fight, but one enormous fight. We defended the Defender's Heart, the tavern, which was attacked by um, different kinds of cultists and demons, but, and this is important, um, we did this fight mainly in um, turn-based mode, which um, helped us to do the fight properly. So we only lost a few, uh, only one point of structure on the, on the tavern, so we took only minimal damage by, on the other hand, doing a lot of damage to um, the attackers. Okay, there is Irabeth. We have to talk to her because of uh, Wolchiff. I found Chana Eldori, like you asked. Yes, thank you. It's good to have her back. Oh, interesting. We need every fighter we can get. I suppose it's asking too much to want fighters that are sober as well. There's a traitor I'm trying to track down. Who is your informant among the thieflings? Knabris is threatened by a demon horde, and you have enough spare time to help out thieves? I don't like this, but I hope you know what you're doing. I'll tell you everything I know. I did not see my informant's face. He slipped out of a dark alley handed me the note and disappeared. He had a cloak with a hood masking his face, but the horns, the long horns, didn't fit under it. Okay, so he has long horns. There should be a guardian golem in ancient trees and wonders, the shop they tried to rob. The owner gave us the construct's code word just in case. Golem itself was destroyed, but the head seems to be intact. So you can interrogate the thing and find out what it saw. The code word is Hand of Irori. What's Irori? It's a god, probably. Also known as Master of Masters, the Enlightened One and the Perfect Human. The god of Enlightenment, Self-Perfection, Knowledge, Healing. Ah, okay. The shop's owner must have escaped, but there's a chance you'll get lucky with the golem. Okay, I have to go. May you meet her, keep you safe. Mm -hmm. Okay, fast. As you would say in Vienna. <laughs> Let's do a few more things. There is the minor drawer, and there are people trying to get rid of it. Okay. Fine. I can live with that. Uh, do we keep this constellation? Uh, can we? Yeah. Thank you. Let's do it like this. Oh my god. Okay. Let's move on. We were at the marketplace already. We need to get to Blackwing Library next. Or Arende Party House, Tower of Est Tower of Estrut. Hmm. Where should we go next? Grimm's Mansion. Let's do the tower first. For the party house, we'll take um, 
Uh, what's her name? Hey, Willis. Oh, Charles there. We found one edible moss, one flower, one slimy skin, one shiny kitten. I'm pretty sure we could have gone this way. Okay, you failed to sneak past the enemies. Now yeah, let's let's fight the enemies. <laughs> Tower of Astrid. I'm not sure what we will have to do there. Yet another obstacle. Yet another obstacle. And it's directly beside Wolchiff, which is good because so Wolchiff can attack it. <laughs> oh, it's rain. Really? You should have listened to reason. Mm hmm. It's just one of these things. Ah, oh, come on. Could have killed it. This was easy. Let's collect all and let's move on. Yeah, of course. I like it when um, um, when Thunderbolts just crash beside myself. Pretty sure we could have gone this way as well. Scout out the Tower of Estril, Estrot. Hmm. Um, yeah, let's, let's enter the thing. I don't know what we find there. We will find out sooner or later. <laughs> Perch demons from the Tower of Astrid. Ah, yes. It's raining, yay. Ooh. It's an angel, Cabras burns, a city that should never have fallen, it shows no mercy. Does it? Clouds may veil the stars, but nothing can hide the light in someone's soul. And I see this light in you. Really? Do you? Another one. We will stand shoulder to shoulder with you against evil. Okay. Another angel. I hear the echo of a familiar voice. I feel the warmth of my kindred flame. My brother, we will help you. Okay. Are these all the possible mythic pathways that you can choose? Yeah, thank you. Angelic aspect. Okay, can we talk to them? Vision of Yaniel. Vision of the Herald. Mm. Vision of Elin Eliandra. Yeah, let's talk to Eliandra first. Clouds may veil the stars, but nothing can hide the light in someone. Whatever. 
Servants of the Abyss, you entered the house of memory with evil in your souls. Soon you will be but the memory. Herald? Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Uh, let's just... Let's just... Uh, where is it? No, no, no. Yeah, there it is. You are not in front. Definitely not. You're definitely in the rear. some information. None will escape my all-seeing eye. Inquisitor Hulrun fights a shadow demon that he exercised from a soldier body. Okay. Yaniel by Fountain. The picture was presumably painted from life over uh, the summer of 40. 4637, one year before Yaniel's heroic death during the Battle of Dresden. More details in the Museum Almanac. Ah, that's him. Or her. Farewell to Sarkoris, Eliandra, the legendary priestess of Pulura, watches the city of East rumble into the freshly opened world wound. More details in Museum Albanac. Okay, so this is just a few guides. Crusader Queen, a copy of the famous embossed bath relief originally created by Master Derek Sunhammer. Young Queen Gelfrey is portrayed personally leading her crusaders into battle on the first of Abad use. Okay, so um, let's look at the other side. World long gone, a thematic collection of various artists' works on everyday life in Sarkoris. Before the opening of the world, more details in the museum almanac. Okay. Seat of Grief, a view of the infamous Heaven's Edge. This is the place where most of the Mandavian aristocratic society at once fell prey to a supernatural plague and the demons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. More. Among the cloudy colossi, in this picture, the two angels, Targona and Lariel, are chasing and fighting a deadly Vrolikai demon in the air several miles above the world wound. More details? Yeah, yeah, whatever. And here we stand and will not take a step back. The hand of the inheritor, Herald of Yomeda, is depicted placing the first wardstone among the fortifications of Canabras. Okay. That's that. Uh, okay. Uh, where do we get in? <laughs> Locked from inside. Okay. So there's no getting in here. But there is no door. So this is kind of a riddle, I'm, I guess. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Ah, no. <laughs> There's no kind of riddle. It's just the uh, effects on the red skinned, long haired tiefling raises his pain filled eyes to you. A huge magical brand stands out on his chest, freshly burned into his skin. The flesh around the brand is inflamed and has an unhealthy looking hue. Hey, stop. Who are you? Crusaders. Well, well, well. I was looking to add a couple more Crusaders heads to my collection and all. Okay. Who's Faxon? We will find out. Why well, just assume we're Crusaders though? Where'd you get that idea, huh? I mean, do we look like Crusaders? Good point. Um... All right. The tiefling notices the sacred symbol of Yomite gleam gleaming on the paladin's chest and ties. I suppose that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Intimidate 21. Oh, we've got a plus 14. This could work. We just need a 7 or higher. Disgusting filth. Get out of here before I kill you all. It works. <laughs> Seems that Kilas took all the most intimidating and bloodthirsty warriors with him. Only the cowardly rebel have remained behind with Faxon. Half of them quickly turned to flee the tower with Faxon's rebuking profanities following them as they go. Well, we gained experience and we got rid of some of the monsters. That's good. So persuasion is always a good thing to take. Always be the one with the highest persuasion. Um, I can kill you right now or I can give you a few mi more minutes of life if you answer my questions. Okay. Tiefling shoots your wishes screen. You won't be getting out of here alive either way, so why not? Let's have a chat. Who are you? You don't look like a museum worker. <laughs> I am Fax, servant of Baphomet. Baphomet? Is Baphomet? No, no, that's Asmodeus. Baphomet is the demon lord. Asmodeus is the devil's lord. They don't like each other. Their ranking member the ranking member of the Templars of the Ivory Labyrinth in the city and new master of this tower and you'd better watch your mouth or else my curses will rip your soul to flaming shreds I think we die anyway so pledging, pledging their lives to Baphomet these cultists scheme to support the good works of the Crusaders okay whatever don't care time for an experiment Paper appears in Enyo's hands. Mr. Cultist, allow me to ask, what exactly will you do to us when you inevitably vanquish us? <laughs> I'll curse your soul, skin you alive, and piss on you while you lie there dying. One, two, three threats, and all of them already on my list. Then you checks the page and says, This specimen of demon worshipping is utterly devoid of ingenuity. <laughs> I am not certain that his superiors that his superiors would even notice the death of an underling as lacking in imagination as he. <laughs> This is kind of dissing. <laughs> you filthy scum, I'll break your legs so they bend the other way. But you won't be able to scream because I'll Cut off your ears and shove them down your throat. Well, I'm pretty sure we can we can scream without our ears. Oh, now that's better. That's much better. Her pencil dances across the page. You totally new threats for the encyclopedia. I thank you for your contribution, Mr. Cultist. What did you forget in the museum? For the last three months, this tower has served as a cover for me and my servants. I set up my base in the cellar 
of the local museum and smuggled an entire regiment of my Templars into the city. It's the ideal place for a secret hideout. The museum was left in the charge of a doddering old man who can hardly remember his own name. When our lords struck Canabras, we plunged the blade into the crusader's back, and a glorious fight it was. Hmm. If you plunged it in his back, it wasn't a fight. <laughs> now, Lord Xantir has ordered us to strip Canabras of everything that might be of interest to him and remove it from the city. He is a great master of the occult and magical arts. And this museum is chock full of all kinds of relics that would prov prove very interesting to study. You look awful. What's wrong with your tattoo? Lady Minago was displeased with me. She branded me with this rune to make me suffer. Minago wanted me to subjugate the demons of our ally, Descari wrest control away from the idiot Kilos, from that idiot Kilos, but I failed. Ah, so the demons are fighting each other. But it seems my luck is turning. You don't look like rank and file crusaders. When I bring Minago your heads, all will be forgiven and shall remove this brand. Ah, <sighs> You should have run when you first saw me. Let's attack him. Faxon's eyes narrow in fury and he releases a feral shriek that sets his gang in gangs laboring for your blood. Okay. The demons and Templars give answering howls to their leader and search forward to attack. Okay. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Ah, now it's open there. Interesting. Ah, because they ran. And here we can get down. Okay, so first of all, let's move here. Second of all, what spells do we have? Oh, Greece, yes! <laughs> this worked better than I thought. Good, good. Pick. Move this direction. That's good. Wait. Ah, it's not fast. Okay, let's shoot at this guy. Lay on hand on yourself. Hmm. Too bad.
and that one's dead. Kill this one, and then someone else. Pig, you just wait there. Okay, uh, Faxon, let's show his stats. What's the guy? This is a level 7 witch, not too strong, I think. Energy resistance, so no spells on him. But everything else is... We dealt one point of damage. Uh, that's. If we do this, is this okay? Nah. Good. Fine. Ember. Shoot this guy. Another damage. Yay. Then <laughs> ah. Okay. This was stupid. Um Nope. Can't do this. Let's just shoot on him more. Yeah, or else don't do anything. Then you eighteen points of damage, nice. We'll chief stay here and wait for him to come. Then Kill this guy. <laughs> you stupid pig. Point of damage, that's nice. That's that really. This wasn't too uh, too hard. Let's connect everything of that. Scroll of and a heavy mace of fire. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. So we are down here. Oh, we can make mobility checks to get up there. And what's that? Looks like we could trip down. Let's move up here. Ah, uh, yeah, this is... Oh no. <gasps> it's a trap! <laughs> so good. Push the volume. Why should we do this? Now let's push it. Because we can. Oh, we're so great. <laughs> you can destroy stuff. <laughs> now. Can we destroy stuff on the other side as well? Nah. Not really. Is there anything up there? Ooh. What did you find? Wait, what? No. Shield. Let's push the column wherever it goes. Ah, oh, yes. Tod durch Säule. <laughs> what an achievement. We are great. We are so great. <laughs> So stupid. My oh, god. Let's let's heal her. Can you heal her yourself as well? I'm not sure now. You can heal him. Yeah, let's heal him. Then heal myself. Let's do the second time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now it's raining inside the building. That's great. Okay. Anyway, people, uh, we will stop for today. It was nice to be here. We will go into the basement probably next because uh, there was nothing else here, was it? Where's the door? Yeah, there is a door. We could go inside there as well, couldn't we? No, we can't. We'll have to go to the basement. Okay, let's go to the basement then. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.